Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. Today we're going to have a look at checkboxes. In the if statements program, you are going to find a little object looking like this. This is one object. This part here, or you have vitality member, that is the caption of the checkbox. And the user can either select it or unselect it. The property that is used to store the input from the user is called the dot checked property. And when the user click on it and it's selected, the checked property is assigned to true. If it's unselected, then the checked property would be false. So the dot checked property is a Boolean property. Because the dot checked property is Boolean, it is often used inside of an if statement. So we could say this was a checkbox. Let me just quickly go and find it. Do you have a pet or not? And you're going to select it if you have a pet. And the user will not select it if they don't have a pet. So that dot check property would have either value of true or false. So now I can use it in my if statement and I can say, is the object chk pet the dot check property is it true? If it is, then maybe we count it. Maybe we ask them how many pets they have. In my example, I'm just storing here, is pet as you have a pet. Else, if it's not checked, that means the dot checked is false. Then I will store in here, it, they don't have a pet. An if statement will by default test if a Boolean property, variable, or a Boolean function is true. So this part here is actually not needed. We can write the same statement like this, where we test if the checkbox.check property is true without adding the equals to true. So either option is correct. If you need to store the input from the user from the checkbox in a variable, you would declare a Boolean variable. And the code simply looks like this. We have the Boolean variable on the left of the assignment statement, and we could say name of the object dot checked. So if the person selected it, a true would be stored in bpet, and if they did not select it, a false would be stored in bpet. Checkboxes will allow the user to select more than one option. So I could have all three of these animals, a dog, a cat, and a hamster. Or maybe I just have a dog and a cat, or maybe I have none. That is different from a radio group combo box or list box, which we will cover a little bit later, where you will only be allowed to select one of the options. Thank you everyone for watching Dandelion Delphi tutorials. I hope to see you soon.